Hey you are watching Ali Aziz YouTube channel. Top 13 Oracle Forms Interview Questions and Answers for Fresh and Experienced Candidates 1. Explain what is Oracle Forms Oracle Forms is a software product for creating screens that interact with an Oracle database. It has an IDE including a property sheet, object navigator, and code editor that uses PL slash SQL. 2. Explain what are the Oracle Forms services components include. Oracle Forms consist of Client Client sends the HTTP requests Forms listener surflay It start, stop, and communicate with the Forms runtime process Forms runtime process It executes the code contained in a particular Forms application Database The data fetched from the database 3. Mention what are the new features introduced in Oracle Form Services in 11G Release 2. In Oracle Form Services, the features included are Integration with Oracle Access Manager Schedule Forms Runtime Press Tart Enhanced Network Statistics Reports Support for Unicode Columns GUI Mode Configuration Parameter Forms Metric Agent Support for URLs in image items and iconic buttons. Oracle Real User Experience Insight. 4. Explain what is the difference between call underscore form, new underscore form, and open underscore form. Call underscore form, it starts a new form and pass control to it. New underscore form, it terminates the current form and replace it with the indicated new form. Open underscore form, it opens the indicated new form without replacing or suspending the parent form. 5. List out the Oracle Forms configuration files. Oracle Forms configuration files include Base HTML files, Base.htm, Basegeny.htm, Basehp.htm, and Basec.htm. ENV CFG 6. In Oracle Forms Report, what is the maximum length of record group column? What are the different types of record groups? The maximum length of record group column names cannot exceed 30 characters. Different types of record groups include Query record groups State record groups Non-query record groups 7. Mention what is the sequence of firing triggers in forms. The sequence of firing triggers in forms, when forms open is Preform Preblock Prerecorded Pretext item When new form instance When new block instance When new record instance When new item instance 8. Mention what the LOV of validation property of an item. Mention what is the difference between love and list item. When LOV for validation is set to true, Oracle Forms compares the current value of the text item to the values in the first column displayed in the LOV. LOV is a property whereas list item is an item. A list item can only have one column while love can have one or more columns. 9. Explain how can you use the same LOV for two columns? We can use the same LOV for two columns by passing the return values in global values and using the global values in the code. 10. Mention what are bind variables. The bind variables are used in report 6i for replacing the single parameter in the select statement. 11. Explain how one can iterate through items and records in a specified block. To iterate through items and records in a specified block, one can use next underscore field to iterate through items in a specific block and next underscore record to iterate through records in a block. 12. Explain can you convert or reverse engineer a FMX back to a FMB file. No it is not possible to convert or reverse engineer a FMX back to a FMB files, to ensure they are not lost. 13. Is it possible to execute a dynamic SQL from forms? 
Yes, it is possible to execute a dynamic SQL from forms by using the forms underscore DDL built-in or by calling the DBNS underscore SQL database package from forms.